Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm just coming out for a drive in my larder today. We're in Northolt in London, in the London borough of Ealing. Today is an episode of Miniature Railway Britain. We're going to look at the Northolt Model Railway Club's Miniature Railway. Come here in my larder. This unfortunately may well be one of the last times my larder is able to drive into London because of the ULES expansion, which um, I don't want to get political in my videos, but it's something I'm not overly happy about. So. I've enjoyed taking my larder to here, which doesn't actually feel like London at all. It does feel like a nice little country village because this is the original part of Northolt. The parish church is just up there. The Western Avenue isn't too far over that way, so although it feels nice and quiet and like we're in a countryside village, we are actually you know, in quite a busy part of London. So the miniature railway we're going to, I understand the club has existed since 1950, and they've got their model railway, or miniature railway should I say, at the community centre. And across the road here by this pub. And the miniature railway, if you look ahead now, you should see, yeah, look, there's a train has just stopped. I'm not sure why that train has stopped. It's a class 67. And um, it's almost as if on cue because I'm filming. He's stopped there. Let's get across the road. And we're going to be just in time to see the train go past. There goes the Class 67. You can see it's a raised track railway. In a minute, I think we'll see the loco run along there. So it's, it's going around in like a continuous loop. Is that another, is another train coming? I thought it was a train to go by. We'll go and have a look. That was good. And Britannia went past, and there goes that Class 67. So I think the, there's a bit of a, a queue of trains at the moment because it's a, a raised track and it's on a continuous circuit. If one train's waiting, the others have to wait. You can hear the Britannia opening up. Let's just watch the Britannia climb the hill. We'll go and have a ride. So, let's go and find our way in. Now, although the railway itself runs parallel with Church Road. I don't think we can get into the site that way. We've got to walk down here a bit more of the old part of the village to find our way in. I don't really know why I've never been to this railway before. It's not too far from me. It's just one I've just never got round to visiting. It, I think it runs on the third Sunday of each month. Some railways do that so I probably just haven't been available on a day when I learned it was running before, but anyway, here I am today. We're going to visit that railway, so we're just going along here. Uh, you can maybe be able to hear, I don't have the camera speak now, but in the distance, the sound of the Western Avenue and the sound of whistles, of course. I think this is the entrance here. It says North Holt Village Community Centre. So we're going to walk up the drive of this community centre, and I, again, I can see the railway line. I can hear. Is that yeah, there's that Britannia again. So whilst we've gone one way, it's gone another. Now the obvious thing I'm thinking is it's a race track. There's got to be a bridge somehow because you can't exactly have a level crossing on a race track. This is funny, look, I like this. So to come into the site, so it's like the community centre, it's a bit like an old house. There's effectively a level crossing but it's like the gates for the level crossing are the track. So these open and as you can see, the train actually passes over on top of them. So that's gonna be quite interesting. So they probably don't open these once the trains are running. Oh, I see, look, you can see over there, you actually step over the track to get into the site. So we'll walk up here, step over the track, and then I think the station is just over there. So, um, I think it's safe to cross, crossing the track, thank you, and then as you can see the train will come along. So I think from what I've seen to start with, that, the section of line from there is downhill, but then we, we saw that Britannia, she had to work hard to come up the gradient up to here. So we'll see the 67 go past, then we'll see the Britannia, and then we'll go and have a ride.
There's the Britannia. There's a red light. So it's, it seems their their signal section has gone green now. So she's passed. It, it really feels like we've just come to someone's house. It looks like the community centre is an old house, an old Edwardian house with a nice garden and a miniature railway. And it's always nice going to a miniature railway in a garden. And that's exactly what this feels. And here's the station over here. And the station, look, that's funny. It's called North Holt. So it's like a little hole. It's called North Holt, and we're in North Holt. And I think there's going to be a train coming in soon. So, yeah, here comes that Britannia. Britannia didn't stop, but when the next train comes, we'll go for a ride.
This video has taken a slightly unexpected turn. I'm on my way up the stairs to the loft of the house. They invited me to have a look in the loft. Oh, look at this. Oh, North Holt tube station sign. They said I can come and see some of the model railways. So this is the North Holt Model Railway Club OO gauge section. Go in here. Wow, look at that. It's a OO gauge model railway. I'll go under here and we'll go and have a look inside. So what, what they were saying was they're not actually running the trains today. Um, they have club members running day. So what is it? I can come back one day and and film it when it's running. So if you're watching this video in the future, there might be a link on screen now. Um, so I'll come back at some point and we'll have a look at this. But today they're just like have a quick look. It's great to see what a really nice layout. They've got a terminal there and a terminal there. So terminal stations there. So it looks like you can bring a train out and run it all the way around, around there. It goes under the second terminal round again over that nice bridge right round onto this upper section of track and then into the terminus and there's like a little branch line station here so perhaps we'll come back and see all this running one day and um, also i've noticed that you could actually in theory with that spur of track send have two trains continuously running around so it's a it's really really nice model layout let's go and have a look at the O gauge section and then I'll go back downstairs and we'll ride some trains. So yeah, what, what brilliant layout. Let's go underneath. Go under here. Ooh. And go to here. What does this say? This is the O gauge section. And what a fantastic layout this is. Look at this. It's brilliant. Let's um, just go underneath and have a little look at this one. So again, trains on aren't running but we'll perhaps come another time and we'll we'll see the trains running i think this one works on a similar way in that they've got a terminal station here oh, look at that look they've got all the old um you know like the bells of the signal box and they've effectively got a mini signal box here with all these little levers so i bet it's really quite exciting to see all this running so a train will come out of here it's called vermouth this station coming out of here running along Pass 33 there. I think it goes underneath itself right round and along, along, yeah, up there, right around over itself. So by then it's done a full circuit, a bit like the other one. You've got a branch line down below, and then the train would be left here, would be running along the upper section once it's gone right round, past that, and you know, signal gantry. And then there's another, there's a terminal station here. There's a loco shed, complete with a turntable. And there's another, there's like a goods depot down there. So again, a really, really nice layout. There's something just nice about being up in the loft and having all these trains running. So fear for the future, we'll come back and see these running. I'm gonna go back downstairs now and see more of the miniature railway.
I really enjoyed my afternoon here riding and watching the trains of the Norfolk Model Railway Club's miniature railway. It's, it, like I said at the beginning, as we walked up, up the drive, it really does have the feel of visiting someone's house who has a railway running around their garden. As I said, the old house is the community centre and we discovered inside there's some smaller railways. So we'll come back at some point in the future. But I just really like this garden, the way they've got the garden with the railway running around it. I just always find that a garden, it makes it so much nicer, whether it's got, you know, a model railway, or in this case, a metro. And I quite like how it's high up. It feels like when you're walking along, you sort of see the train pass you at eye level, which is quite nice. I think we're down to just two trains now. The Britannia has come off and gone on shed. It's nice to, that's the other nice thing about metro rails is you never quite know what you're going to get. We've had a Class 67, we've had the other diesel called Paul, and then of course we've had the Britannia. So it's, um, because usually if you go to a heritage railway, you tend to go there knowing you're going to ride behind a particular loco. But when you come to a miniature railway, for me, part of the excitement is not actually knowing what you're going to ride behind. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. If you'd like to come and visit this railway, it's open on the third Sunday of every month and it's fairly easy to get to. You've got, of course, Norfolk Tube Station on the Central Line and Norfolk Park Station on the Chilt Main Line. There's also, not too far over there, there's numerous bus routes passing here. So it's a very easy railway to get to. So thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. And from the Norfolk Model Railway Club's Miniature Railway.